Well, hello, Jimmy the Hammer here. So I have no idea how long this video is going to be, but do you want to start the carnivore diet? Do you want to know what to do? I'm going to tell you. Step one, if you're just starting to lose weight and you want to feel better, how do you start the carnivore diet? Step one, don't. What? What? Here's the thing. Is when I started carnivore, I kind of, I had already been losing weight. I had been doing other things. I was eating basically clean. I was kind of already eating keto before I went to just eating meat. Well, it's a great elimination diet. It can be kind of hard on your system. I didn't have any issues, but there are some people that do say they get some issues with just starting to eat meat. If you want to get healthier, I would say, if you want to lose weight and you don't know what to do, the first thing to do, stop drinking your calories. Just stop drinking any sugared soda. Try artificially sweetened soda. Now, there's going to be plenty of people that say, oh, you don't want to eat anything with artificial sweeteners. That's fine. But if the first thing you have to do is start drinking things with artificial sweeteners in it, do that. Stop drinking no fruit juice. Just stop. The big food companies are trying to kill you. Well, they want to kill you slowly. One of the things that do it, they make it seem like it's really good for you because it's fruit. It's fruit juice. Yeah, it's fruit juice, but it's it has a few vitamins and minerals, but none of the fiber that blunts the effect of the sugar on your system. So stop drinking fruit juice. It's all bad. Anything, all of it. Just okay. But then some, well, what about protein shakes? I know a lot of uh, bodybuilders and, and, and guys like that. They eat pro that's okay. It's mostly protein. It's not a lot of sugar, not a lot of carbs. That's a little bit different. But even then you could say, well, I'm drinking my calories. I shouldn't. Oh, that's what I say. Now, stop eating sugar. That's going to be tough. I am a sugar addict. Just yesterday, I had a muffin because I felt like I needed it. And it was a totally an emotional thing. Understand that most of the sugar that we eat, I mean, besides being addicted, we're also emotionally addicted to the feeling that the food gives us. So they, why do they think they call it comfort food? So step one, stop drinking your calories. No sugared soda no fruit juice just stop it step stop number two stop lowering the amount of complex carbohydrates you eat so potatoes i love those little baby potatoes a little potato company you, you throw them in the oven coat them with olive oil salt and pepper stick them in the oven for a half oh they're glorious just stop okay just just well okay lower those down stop eating fried food french fries things like that from restaurants i'm sorry just don't just don't get any fried food from restaurants anymore the seed oils are really bad stop doing that a lot of these things are hard i was a trucker for nine years i ate junk all the time and i love french fries i'm not gonna say that i don't you know but they're kind of sort of horrible for you then as you start to gradually wean down off of the complex carbohydrates you can still have vegetables green leafy vegetables cruciferous vegetables broccoli cauliflower change your rice over to cauliflower rice that's not so bad gradually you can start moving towards keto which is very low carb higher fat higher protein always prioritize the protein in your diet always that can be with protein shakes you know if you want to have something you know you feel like you need to drink something get a good protein powder not necessarily at most grocery stores or anything like that i i like rise protein uh, harder than the last time uh, greg Doucette's brand i actually like his protein powders those protein powders you find at walmart stuff like that I'm not a fan but you want to look for a whey protein isolate if you're going to choose anything like that. Then as you gradually do this and you cut out all of the starchy vegetables, 
you gradually cut down the amount of rice, you cut down the amount of beans, you cut down the amount of potatoes that you're eating, quinoa, just all that, don't. Just, just cut it down gradually. You shouldn't be having more than a, a fist of it anyway. Gradually cut that down so that now you're just having more protein, more meat, and green vegetables. Fruit's a little hard because there's a lot of sugar. A lot of, I mean, here's an interesting factoid I just found out is this 10 grams of sugar in a Coke and 14 to 21 grams of sugar in a banana. Isn't that cool? And they're not a great source of potassium, even though that's what we, we've been told. But that was all a, a, a marketing gimmick from the cereal companies and the banana companies because they wanted you to buy bananas. So, and as you gradually do this, then when you're just eating green vegetables, but vegetables, when you're eating, you know, low starch vegetables and meat, you can gradually start dialing down the amount of vegetables that you eat until you're just eating meat. But my first suggestion about starting the carnivore diet is if you're not already doing keto, just don't. The side effects can be difficult to deal with as again, I didn't have any, but I entered into carnivore already basically just eating vegetables and no starchy carbs. So I didn't just start carnivore. So that would be my first suggestion. If you want to get healthier and you want to feel better, it's not really about losing weight. If you want to feel healthier, just stop drinking your calories, stop drinking Coke, stop giving them your money. That's the big thing. I like diet. I'm addicted to diet Coke. According to Robert Lustig, a Diet Coke is about half as bad as a Coke. That doesn't mean it's good. It just means it's half as bad. The problem is I'll drink four or five, six Diet Cokes in exchange for one regular Coke because it's zero calories. Okay. So just something to think about. So I'm saying so a lot, aren't I? Anyway, this was a video because it's something I needed to put on this channel to help people that are watching how to start a carnivore diet. Step one, don't. Not unless you're already doing keto. Well, that sounds kind of weird coming from somebody who's doing mostly carnivore. Now, one could say I'm not absolutely carnivore because I'm drinking coffee. But that's about it. I felt really good today. I did go back. So even though I had a bad day, yet yeah, bad day yesterday, I had a muffin and I had a hamburger from Wendy's. Today I had a T-bone steak, some canned herring, and some canned crab meat. Crab meat was 80 calories, lots of protein, can and water. It was okay, not great. The herring, okay. I like herring in wine sauce, but that's got a lot of sugar and stuff in it. So I won't be having that. The herring was better than the crab meat. Needed more salt. A lot of people online have been talking about sardines. I did get some sardines in some mustard sauce. The buck can, which is actually pretty good. You can get that at the dollar store too. Uh, I didn't get it at the dollar store, but you can get it at the dollar store for buck can. But remember, if you're going to start carnivore, start slow. You really need to start slow. Don't just jump in just eating meat. That's what the recommendation from all the experts say. Do not just jump in eating only meat. Yes, it's healthy, but your body ain't going to like it. You may get a bunch of things happening to you that will say, oh, this is horrible. I got to stop. Obviously, this isn't healthy. I have to stop. Where in reality, it's your body dumping off all the chemicals and things that we've been putting into our body for so many years and causing us issues, not the actual diet itself. This is Jimmy the Hammer saying always be the hammer and Jimmy the Hammer out.